limiting potential losses. In the previous lessons, we have shown how to purchase the Nestle stock. Now, we want to show how you can protect yourself in situations of significant market falls using the stop loss orders. The stop loss order is typically used to limit losses if the value of the stock falls too much, thus protecting yourself from significant losses. The order is executed automatically, which means that you don't have to constantly monitor the markets. And you can avoid mistakes that are often made in stressful situations like the market fall. To place a stop order, in Positions Overview tab, press Add under the stop. Now enter the price at which you want to sell if Nestle stock falls. In this case, we enter 100, which means that you sell your Nestle shares if the price should hit 100 francs you will get a confirmation notification that your order has been placed. And the label of the button in the stop column now reflects the price at which your shares will be sold. Note that if you have invested in the same stock several times, have several positions, you have to set a separate stop order for every position. Your stop loss order is also visible under the Orders tab. You can also use a more advanced order type such as trailing stop. Trailing stop is used when you want your stop order to follow up as the stock rises in price. For example, we can change our stop order on Nestle to a trailing stop. It's free to change the order type. In the Positions tab, press the button in the Stop column. Click on the Stop Loss and select Trailing Stop. In the Trailing Step field, Enter the interval your stop order should follow. In this example, we enter 1, which means that every time Nestle stock rises 1 franc, your stop order price will automatically move 1 franc up. Note that if the stock price starts moving down, the stop loss will not follow and remain at its last highest level. Stop loss and trailing stop loss are invaluable for protecting yourself from excessive losses.